In Dart we have only these three naming conventions, upper camel case, lower camel case and snake case notation. For folder names the only right notation is the snake case notation, which means our folder name should not be in uppercase letters, also not the very first letter should be in uppercase, only all the letters should be in lowercase. For folder names that have two words, the first word should be in lowercase as well as the second word and in between of the words we have an underscore. So never put an empty space in between the words for your folder name and also never have any uppercase letters in your folder name. So let's create these folders, first of all the widget folder and also the model classes folder name in snake case notation. Usually in Flutter we try to keep the folder names really short and therefore most of the time the snake case notation is not really used or you cannot see that the snake case notation is used because we only have folder names in lowercase letters with only one word. Next for file names the only right notation is the snake case notation. So again you cannot use only uppercase letters for your file name. You can cannot use any uppercase letters within your file name. Only lowercase letters are allowed and you can also not use any spaces in your file name in case you want to separate your words then you use the underscore. Let's also create a file within the page folder. Here you see a wrong name for the file name. So you cannot have any uppercase letters within your file name. Only lowercase letters are allowed. And this file name here is still wrong because we have multiple words inside of our file name like my, home and also page is a single word. And each word should be separated by an underscore and you should not separate any words by and space or something, always use only an underscore. Next for import prefixes we use the snake case notation. So the import prefix should be all in lowercase letters and in case we have multiple words then each word is separated by an underscore and we should never have any uppercase letters inside of our import prefixes. Next for classes and enums the only right notation is the upper camel case notation. So you cannot use only uppercase letters, you cannot use only lowercase letters for your class name, you cannot use any underscore inside of your class name. And the only thing what you need to be careful about is that if your class name consists of multiple words, here button and widget, these are two separate words, then each of the words should start with a capital letter. And here in this case this is wrong if the second word doesn't start with a capital letter. Let's also look at a real case scenario. This class name is wrong because first of all your class name always should start with an uppercase letter and it is still wrong because this class name consists of three words my Second is another word and page is the last word and each word should start with an uppercase letter. Also the upper camel case notation is not only used for classes, it is also used for enums. So here it works exactly the same, only this variant would be correct. Next for everything that is inside of a class we use the lower camel case notation. So for all the class members such as methods, variables, constants, parameters, name constructors, we use every time the lower camel case notation. So first of all, let's look at the constructor. The default constructor has exactly the same name as the class name and is the only exception inside of a class that is not using the lower camel case notation. All the other things such as the name constructor, which is everything after this dot, should use the lower camel case notation. So in this case, our name consists of two different words, long, and stretched and therefore we have to capitalize the first letter of each word except the very first letter of the name. This should be in lowercase and therefore this is the only right option. The same concept applies for method names. So the only valid option is lower camel case for our method name. Our method name should not start with a capital letter. It should not include any underscores as well as it should not have only lowercase letters, only this is the lower camel case notation which is correct. Let's also look at parameters. Here the only right notation is the lower camel case notation. So a parameter should never start with a capital letter. It should not have any underscores. And also if the name consists of multiple words, here in this case country and name are two words then the last word should always start with a capital letter. The same applies for named parameters. Here the only right notation for our named parameter is the lower camel case notation. 
All right, and the same thing that applies for methods also applies for functions. So a function should also use only the lower camel case notation. It should never start with the uh, capital letter. It should not use underscores. It should not be in lower case. So this is the only valid option for functions. Let's also look at variables. Variable names should also use the lower camel case notation. So a variable should not start with the uppercase letter. It should not have any underscores in between. It should not be only lower case in case it has multiple words. So this is my is a word, variable is a word. And therefore it should here use the lower camel case notation where the last words always have a capital first letter. And it doesn't matter if all the variables are inside of a class, if they are inside of a function, here exactly the same thing applies. Also, if the variables would be instance variables, then also the same concept applies, only the lower camel case notation is allowed. Also, I want to emphasize if your variable name consists only of one single word, then it is all in lower case. And finally, for constant names, the only right notation is the lower camel case notation. In other programming languages, you often see the screaming case notation. However, for Dart and Flutter, this is not best practice. You should definitely use the lower camel case notation. Also, in some other programming languages, they have as a prefix name this K. This is also not what we should use in Dart and Flutter. At the end, let's apply the knowledge that we have learned to some Dart code. So first of all, let's start at the top of our file. Here, this is all in uppercase. However, for variables, we should have the lower camel case notation. So let's put it in lower case. If it would have multiple words, then it would look like this. In case it would be a constant, then it would also look like this so that we have the lower camel case notation. Let's also go to the class name. The class name should have the upper camel case notation. So we shouldn't have any underscores. And here we have two words, button and widget. And therefore we should also use a capital letter for each word. Next, let's look at the variables. This variable name is fine. So we use the lower camel case notation. And in case we have two words, in this case, my and name, then we should apply the lower camel case notation. We start with the lower case word and after this, the first letter of the new word should be in uppercase. Next, the method names are both incorrect. So both of them should use the lower camel case notation and therefore the first word should start with a lower case letter. And here we have two words, increase and also price. And therefore the second word or all the words that follow should have as the first letter an uppercase letter. Let's go to the parameter. A parameter should be in lower camel case notation. So here we have only one word, therefore we use lower case. In case we would have here multiple words, let's say value price, then the second word should be starting with the uppercase letter. And lastly, we have one more mistake for variable names that are inside of methods or functions. You should not use the underscore notation at the beginning. This is meant for private variables. However, inside of methods, private variables doesn't exist. So this is useless. You should not use underscores for local variables. It would be different if it is like an instance variable, then you can use private variables. This is totally fine. However, don't use them inside of methods, functions, etc. since a local variable is anyway only available inside of the method scope.